and does the surface of the moon. This is the sea, the restless sea. This is the sea, the restless sea. From the very beginning, its silent call has fascinated man. This is man, sometimes called the thinking animal. Lured by the mysterious beauty of this world under the sea, man pondered a method whereby he could reach and explore the ocean floor. And the thought suddenly struck him, why not just take the plunge? This simple solution to his problem, while effective, had its limitations. His conquest of the deep had hardly begun when he noticed something was wrong. Something was missing. It was air. <laughs> Centuries later, when man was a Roman and very ingenious, he hit upon the idea of using a hollow reed to supply him with air as he sought his elusive goal at the bottom of the sea. But this method, too, proved impractical. For he discovered that beyond the depth of three feet, an interesting physiological phenomenon invariably took place. Since pressure of water, W, greatly exceeds pressure of air, A, then W plus A equals VGCU, violent gastrocardiac upset. At this point, the lungs collapse. And man usually loses all further interest in the experiment. Seventeen hundred years pass. Now man was an Englishman and ruler of the sea, but only of the surface. He still sought a way to answer the siren call of the mysterious deep. Now about this time, a series of peculiar events led to the invention of the diving bell. It happened during the third watch. The rope broke. And A, man, was struck by B, bell, knocking him into C, C. C? Here he discovered that the air in the bell displaced a good portion of the water, permitting man for the first time to breathe under the surface. Eureka! But unfortunately, it also developed that air once used was worse than no air at all. But now, man was a scientist, and he used logic to solve his problem. To the Englishman's bell, he applied the principles of the Roman's hollow reed and attached thereto a simple hand pump to supply the proper air pressure. Confident now, man set forth to seek and to conquer. Only to find that once more in this matter of air, he had erred. There was plenty of air in the bell, but he couldn't take it with him. Man envied the freedom and mobility of the fish. And so, with a few minor alterations, he invented the diving suit, a marked improvement, but not without its drawbacks. For the suit was bulky, cumbersome, 
and extremely heavy. Now, it's true that man had a certain mobility, but he soon found that the long trailing air hose was both a hazard and a hindrance. It definitely limited his operations under the sea. Oh well, back to the drawing board. Being very clever, man reasoned that if the air hose was his problem, why not just get rid of it? But where now would the diver get his air supply? Why, the answer was obvious. Simply take it with him. Compressed air, a completely self-contained diving suit. But the suit was still bulky, still cumbersome. Man still lacked the desired freedom of movement. He had, however, taken a long step forward for he was able to descend now to depths never before imagined. Of course, even minor damage to the suit meant a return of that old malady, no air. Of necessity then, man made his greatest discovery. By simply pressurizing his lungs, his problem was solved. This then was the aqualung, a tank of compressed air and tubes for breathing. Man now adds the face mask, fins for his feet, and becomes a skin diver, a creature completely at home in the sea. Now at last, he was free and unencumbered, free to pursue his age-old dream. Yes, man had done it again. But, of course, he'll always have one more goal to win. But we can be sure that when man puts his mind to it, the ultimate victory will be his. Good luck, man. Yes, man has solved the problems of living under the sea. With his fins, mask, and portable air supply, he can be a fish among fish, but a thinking fish, endowed with the human capacities for wonder and enjoyment of this never-never water wonderland. Here, adventure beckons at every turn. This is the last true frontier on Earth, and the largest of them all, and it is wide open to the public. Here in this strange and wonderful submarine world, the secrets of nature lie revealed to all who don a mask and fins and a diving lung. This is exciting. This is beauty. This is romance with nature. But sometimes it can be hazardous. A broken strap, a lost face mask, nostrils exposed to the water and eyes deprived of their picture window, all the ingredients of panic. But they do not panic. These are experienced divers who have been trained to cope with such hazards. They know what to do and are calm and self-assured. Yes, these are good divers, but there are others. Uh-oh, here come a couple diving accidents. Say, you two, going for a little deep sea diving? I see you've good professional equipment. Mm-hmm, nothing but the best. That diving gear, you know all about it. How about experience? Had any diver training? Oh, brother, that'll do it. I see, you've never been diving before. Well, good luck. 
safe. You're planning to come back alive. You know, by the way you're starting out, there's a fair chance you won't. How about this? It's good life insurance. You miss. You know, if you go deep with that oxygen rig, there's a good chance you'll end up with convulsions. You, sir, do you know that you can kill yourself in six feet of water if you don't breathe correctly with your gear? Ever hear of air embolism? It's a killer. What do you do if you flood your mask? Panic? Wait a minute. Don't give up now. This is a fabulous sport and a safe one. But you'll have to make it safe. There are two ways of using that gear. The wrong way is sometimes fatal. Do you really want to learn to do this thing right? All right. Let's get rid of most of that equipment for the time being and start from the beginning. That fancy equipment is all good, but it's for skilled divers. Come with me and I'll show you what I mean. This is the Los Angeles County Certified Diving Training Program. The Los Angeles County Parks and Recreation Department has pioneered this program to promote safety in scuba diving. Here, under expert supervision, over 60,000 certified divers have been trained to date. Here, students learn a combination of diving skills which, properly mastered, will prepare them for almost any eventuality undersea. Our visitors, Julie and Pete, find three groups are being instructed. These students in the shallow end are getting their basic training. Intermediate students learn the essential points in the physiology of diving. Yeah. Well, I would like you to know four points. The cause, the symptoms, prevention, and treatment of each diving disease. This when is a must to understand the causes especially. and prevention of diving diseases. And in the advanced class, they get instruction in the care and use of scuba gear. Make sure that the weight belt goes on outside of all the other equipment. These instructors are well qualified. Over and above their years of diving experience, they have graduated from a 90-hour specialized instructor training program and must be recertified each year. Los Angeles County has trained over 300 of these instructors during the past four years. They are the key men who make the certified diver training program work. Diving students enrolled here are first required to present a doctor's certificate stating they are physically fit. With proper instructions and this equipment on your back adjusted properly, it makes you a part of the underwater world. You can practically become a fish. Uh, yes. Students are required to attend 20 hours in classes plus an ocean dive and must pass a stiff written test before they graduate as certified divers. Now let's review again the diving diseases as covered in your underwater recreation manual. Aerotitis, air embolism, spontaneous pneumothorax, subcutaneous endosema, the Benz or Caisson's disease, carbon dioxide poisoning, carbon monoxide poisoning, oxygen poisoning, and nitrogen narcosis. I want you to know the four things about the diving diseases, the cause, symptoms, prevention, and treatment. What causes them? What physiologically happens in the body? How would you recognize this particular disease if you saw it? What are the most obvious visible symptoms? And what would you do to prevent it? With this course under their weight belts, these students will find diving is as safe as driving a car. Even safer, because they won't be reckless divers under sea. The kindergarten for scuba diving, skinning with mass, snorkel, and fins, a must for beginners.
This simple exercise is an essential step toward more advanced diving with self-contained underwater breathing apparatus, the scuba gear. Compressed air in these tanks and the pressure regulator that makes it breathable has revolutionized diving. These advanced students know the purpose and care of their diving lungs and are now ready to cope with underwater problems. All right, has everyone's gear been checked? Okay, in the water. Test and retest, practice and more practice, until fear and panic melt away with the knowledge that even with a lost mask, one still can breathe through his mouthpiece. And it's easy to clear the flooded mask. Boyle's Law. The instructor stresses exhaling while going up. To hold one's breath causes the dreaded air embolism. Expanding air ruptures lungs, can kill a novice diver. The trained diver prevents this by exhaling as she rises. Ditch and recovery, the technique of removing scuba gear underwater and surfacing safely without it, a vital part of this training program. Someday, this diver may have to extricate himself from a serious predicament He'll be glad he learned how here. That last lungful of air, deadly if not also ditched on the way up. He knows. Buddy breathing, sharing air from a single unit. A handy talent when one diver's air supply is depleted. You know, this could be the start of a beautiful relationship. Harassment, not a practical joke, but an artificial emergency the instructor creates to test the student's reaction to sudden diving problems. There is safety in knowing how to meet unexpected situations. This training instills confidence, confidence in his ability to handle his gear, to know his limitations. Such confidence dispels panic, saves lives. This is the goal of the Los Angeles County Diver Training Program, to accent fitness, to establish rules, to suppress fear, conquer panic, and eliminate diving accidents through proper training. An ocean dive, a popular diving club outing. This is where well-trained divers, regardless of their background or calling, find pleasure, excitement, and adventure in the sea. Sightseers, cooks, photographers, biologists, in a holiday spirit, all of them look forward to extending their interest in the cool depths of that wonder world beneath them. They are about to meet the sea on its own terms, and each diver knows old mother ocean can be very rough on the slipshod diver. Each diver mentally reviews all the safety factors he learned in his training. Each safety check is observed and put to practical application. Each team carries a float to use as a resting station and catch holder for souvenirs. Now required by California law, the red and white diver down flag is a warning to boatmen that divers are below.
Of course, they observe the buddy system. No one dives alone. Penetrating this new frontier, inquisitive men meet an inquisitive welcoming committee. Even the friendly seal has a buddy. Pushing through the wilderness, searching for many things, they heed the siren call of adventure, each in his own way. Abalone, the delicacy of the sea. Next stop, the frying pan. Wherever the hunter turns, in the water around him, he finds targets. The archaeologist, probing the past, searches for the crude utensils and relics of other ages. They're all sightseers, deep sea tourists in a way. Their pleasure is to observe and enjoy the unfolding panorama. The ocean floor, teeming with life, with surprises beyond each vista. A sunken wreck like this is a temptation too great to resist. Diving is not for the untrained, for the sea is terribly unforgiving of carelessness and ignorance. If there is danger in diving, this is where you can find it. There are many kinds of undersea hunters. The biologist looks for the secrets of life. He wants his specimens alive. So he invented the slurp gun and collects living creatures of all shapes and colors. The hunter who shoots with a camera preserves the beauty he finds in the deep. His pictures will rekindle fond memories long after the dive. Those inquisitive seals are back again. To them, divers must be some new kind of playmates. Feels good. The archaeologist wonders, did men live here before the sea encroached? Or were these relics from a forgotten past lost when some dugout canoe tipped over? He'll have fun pondering that. Wherever the naturalist turns, he finds life. If he wants to know the ocean, he must grasp it, meet it on its own terms. And the terms may not always be to his liking. 
he'll find more than he'll ever be able to classify in a lifetime. Meanwhile, back at the wreck, Just a rusty knife, but to them, a priceless memento. Yes, exploring is exciting. It's adventurous, and it's time to leave. The unexpected always happens with sobering suddenness. A trap diver and a low air supply, all the ingredients for panic and tragedy. But not when you've been trained to act in an emergency. He's done this many times in the pool for practice. Now he's doing it for his life. A free ascent could be hazardous. Buddy breathing is the answer. Their pool training pays off. A cookout on the beach, part of the fun of a diving club outing. Delicious delicacies, fresh from the deep. Abalone burgers, butter fried fish in foil, shish kebab scallops, broiled lobster tails, abalone chowder. Say, Al, can I borrow your tanks? I ditched mine in the wreck. Sure, help yourself. I just checked them, they're half full. Thanks. Coming, Joey? Hey, while you're out there, tell the others the chow's ready. This is fun. This is high adventure. This is for you. With proper training, you too can enjoy all this. It's for you, the biologist. It's for you, the hunter. It's for you, Mr. Archaeologist. It's for you, photographer. Yes, it's even for you.
Yes, this is fun. This is the fastest growing sport in America. And no wonder, for the well-trained, confident diver finds in the sea a feeling of weightless exhilaration and endless adventure. Yes, diving is for you. But before you dive, learn your limitations. Be sure to get certified diver training instruction. Your local dive shop or county parks and recreation department can tell you where and when diving classes are being held. Anyone for diving?